J.J. Reddick just two three-pointers away from setting a new college record. Two threes to set the NCAA three-point record held by that guy right there, Curtis Staples of Virginia, with 413. Look at those numbers. It's a lot of threes, Billy. You know what else it a lot of is uh, Roanoke, Virginia. Can you imagine Both of them. the Absolutely. history of the college game? Two guys growing up in the same town are one, two in the nation. And I saw the other day, and I didn't realize, a Doug Day, who I never saw play, to be quite honest with you, played at Radford. He's number four, so the state of Virginia pretty well represented. I'd it say. It's pure shooting. Yeah. Ray Reddick. I wonder if Gray asked for that assignment. Just went right by him. Well, that's what Reddick has actually done so much better the last two years of his career. A Gray who knows him well says, I'm taking away the jump shot. J.J. takes him baseline. No, the only other team in the league that won 35 was Duke. So here he was tied with Duke in wins coming into the season. Reddick's got Reddick. one of them, baby. He is now tied. Staples isn't smiling, but his girlfriend is. Well, you got to figure they the know it's coming. going to be broken. Right? They know yeah. it's coming. You don't have to worry about it. But you don't it? have to like it. You worked hard to get it. You know, Dockery's got a nice three-point shot, but he doesn't have the quick release of Reddick has. Look at that. You know, they started with Strickland on Reddick. I thought they'd stay that way, but look at how standard a defense it is. Don't always want to set your club up with that kind of pressure, but they don't play well a little time. Here's Reddick again for three. He now owns the record. Open up the record books and let him in. It's J.J. Reddick who now holds the three-point record in college basketball. Oh. Here he is again. And he'll go on. Great drive. You know the other thing about this record, Staples played on two losing teams while at Virginia. Reddick has played on nothing but winners. Lead. Billy Duke now shooting 13 of 19, 68%. And J.J. Reddick has led the way shooting and passing. Getting a lot of good looks. And one of the reasons, watch this right here. You see that whoever the man was guarding the screener didn't even hedge out the double team on Reddick. Now, you cannot play Duke or Reddick that way. Well, that last three-pointer was the record. You saw the reaction of Curtis Staples. He now passes him. Reddick now 12 points tonight. Over 2,500 points now for his career. Interesting uh, stat on uh, foul shooting. Blake Ahern of Missouri State needs just six more free throws made to be in the qualification category in the NCAA. And he will take over for Reddick of the all-time career foul shooter. He's up at 95.3%, something Reddick can't catch. The only thing that's kept him out of that first place position is he just didn't make or shoot enough. Without question, I thought Gray would be able to make a better transition because he did play point guard in high school some and also at Wake Forest a little bit and uh, just had all kinds of problems. Two games with 10, 10 turnovers and he's a better player than that. Reddick again, he's got 18. And that was with Strickland on him right over the top of a taller man. What a shot. They hit so many threes, it's hard to make up that point. Those oh, absolutely. points. absolutely. Here's J.J. Reddick looking down. You've got to respect the drive. Strickland slow getting out there. Reddick tried to go ahead and get those referees to give him as well. I mean, why are you, why are you calling that the way it was? And I talked about putting a guy in the free throw shooting. I didn't realize Drum had started the second half. But there's Hale, an 80% free throw shooter. He could have been brought into the game to shoot for Williams. And you'd have Williams right back in the ball game, so he wouldn't have missed the possession at all. Pushes the lead back up to 12. And Reddick gets his 20th point of the night. As Coach K tells Paul, let's take it back out. Reddick takes it to the hoop and scores. Again, he takes that ball off the dribble from 20 feet and never is double teamed. 70-52. 11-20 to play. Reddick. Wow. And you know what? J.J. was looking to pass that ball to McRoberts. McRoberts is hoping this is not called on him. He can 
continues to oh. climb up the scoring list. Dockery could have helped him here by raising his hand quickly. There's the screen. Look at Dockery. Reddick was really looking to throw that ball that time over to McRoberts. McRoberts fouls out. Pretty productive game had it not been for the foul situation. He sat up and having a sensational year as a freshman. Reddick again. This is for two. Incredible shoot. Another medium range jump shot. Great pull up. Good decision not to take it all the way to the basket. Just run out of things to say about it. Rogers out there at Arizona was reinstated. There's a senior that will be coming back to his club. His was not for academic reasons, just attitude problem. It could help Arizona turn itself around a little bit, but without question, Jim, Maryland cannot do with losing a guard like Chris McRae and be the same team in any way, shape, or form. Billy, for the life of me, I don't know how you become academically ineligible in your senior year unless there's just a total lack of that. After coming in tonight, Reddick can hit 165 of his 188 free throws. It's interesting that uh, in those uh, 30 point games of Buzzy Wilkerson who appears in the Ace Conference Tournament and only one team in those days went to the NCAA Tournament but he wins that tournament by beating North Carolina and Wake Forest in back-to-back -back nights. Now here's what happened in the regular season. He lost to Wake Forest twice by an average of 18 points. He lost to North Carolina once by 22, 